couple years ago, I was home for Christmas. Some friends and I went out to see a local bluegrass band. After the show, my friend Andrea suggested we all spend the night at her house, about a half mile from the bar. Andrea was a good friend. She was so happy to see me that she bought me drinks all night, and I got drunk. We stumbled our way there, stopping intermittently for one of us to make a snow angel or throw up. When we arrived at her place, we piled in, tearing off our gear and heaving ourselves on couches. Most of the crew passed out, and I got up for some water. Andrea came out of her room and said, hey, do you want to hang out in here? I noticed she was wearing a little nightgown. I had on fleece pants built for the dead of winter. She must have been freezing. Sure. I grabbed some vodka and cranberry juice. We bundled up underneath her down comforter and discussed jobs and boys. I didn't like my job or the guy I was seeing. She was into her boss. As I described how mind-numbing my average workday was, she cut me off, looked into my eyes, and said, I really want to kiss you. I didn't see that coming. We weren't flirty, and I thought she was straight, but it did explain the 90. <laughs> and she looked sexy. Lots of side boob. <laughs> I figured, this is my big chance to hook up with a girl. <laughs> so I went for it. <laughs> we kissed. She put her hand between my legs. Hell yeah, it's go time. I'm doing it. I was turned on. I slid her nightgown over her head and gently squeezed her breasts as I sucked on them. They were way bigger than mine. Just the type I've always dreamed of. She unbuttoned my flannel shirt, and then she went for my pants. Lay down. She pushed my knees apart. This seduction was years in the making. I've been interested in women for a long time. In college, I would try to feel out my bi curiosity by pressuring my girlfriends to tongue kiss me at parties. <laughs> None of them were interested. I always identified as straight-ish, questioning. I had a serious boyfriend in my early 20s. I also had wet dreams about women and thought about female models to get turned on before sex. I loved the idea of being aggressively taken by someone very feminine, dark hair, big lips, tons of curves, basically Salma Hayek. <laughs> I brought it up with my boyfriend one night in bed after mediocre sex. Anthony, can we have like a special clause in our relationship just in case I ever get the chance to sleep with a woman? He agreed, smirking not threatened. A few years later, Anthony and I moved to San Diego and I started a master's program in women's studies. <laughs> or, as my friends in Kansas City call it, masters in lesbianism. <laughs> but they were kind of right. I, I was hoping to score. I knew I must be a little queer. But most of my classmates weren't even into women, and if they were, they weren't into me. Fast forward a year, Anthony thought our special in case I meet a chick clause applied to him too. <laughs> I'm a single girl again, wasted and making out with strangers, going on dates with guys I didn't remember from the nights I met them. I was partying harder than I ever had, sure that it would lead to some wild sexual exploits, specifically that orgy I'd always meant to fall into in my first experience with a woman. My fantasy has always involved kissing and rubbing women's bodies. It never occurred to me that they didn't go as far as oral sex. And oh my God, Andrea's going down on me. I wanna do this? Uh, this is my friend. I've known Andrea since college. What is this gonna do to our friendship? Her mouth was warm and giving and I, I tried to enjoy it. She was good at this, but her tongue had the effect of a wet washcloth. 
I felt nothing and I wanted to close my legs. Do I like the idea of being with a woman more than actually being with a woman? But I didn't know how to get out of the situation. She said, I want you to come. Uh, oh, don't worry about it, it doesn't have to happen. There was no way in hell. Um, will you go down on me? Uh, yeah, sure. She lay down, legs wide, and I found myself face to vagina. And it was a nice vagina. I mean, as nice as they come. But it looked like mine, it smelled like mine, and there was a lot of hair. I took to it like the fleshy part of a lemon cut in half. I thought, I thought I would, I thought I would get away with just working the outside. But she instructed me to go in. She moaned up a storm and came a couple minutes later. But I didn't feel like a triumphant lover. I, I was glad it was over. But I had been preparing for this moment for a decade. How could I not like it? I was so disappointed. And oh my God, I, I, I think I'm straight. <laughs> Afterward, Andrea seemed shy and happy and she scooted her back into my tummy to make herself the little spoon. How am, I gonna get, how am I gonna keep my hands off you tomorrow? She asked. I was surprised. I had no desire to do that ever again. The next morning, Andrea cooked us breakfast before we made the snowy journey home. Every time we were alone, she'd move in for a kiss, but I was worried our friends would see. I tried to act normal, but I was on the verge of hyperventilating. Failed at eye contact. Before I left, she pulled me back into the house for one last kiss and laughed about how this was gonna change our friendship. <laughs> I kissed her back, kind of, and gave her a <laughs> When I got home, I went to my room, got in bed, and pulled the covers over my head. What happened, Joni? Why couldn't you get into it? Why were you so scared of that vagina? Andrea is amazing. You would be lucky to be with her. Because I, I, I'm stuck in the heteronormative. I'm, I'm straight, I'm boring. This was an experiment or a dare. I see queerness as rebellion or counterculture. Well, Andrea has feelings for you and wants something more. She was genuine and vulnerable and you used her. I have to tell her. When I opened my phone, I already had two flirty messages from her, both ending with semicolon P. <laughs> so, like a coward, I texted her back. Hey, Andrea, last night was really fun, but I, I just don't want to add that layer of complication to our relationship, so... Let's just be friends. Smiley face. <laughs> I couldn't even tell her the truth. That I'm not what I thought I was. Queer. I'm your standard issue, socially constructed, straight girl. Thank you. Tony Redmond.